sacrifice one of them. Now from 10 you became nine. So, you, so he wants you to feel what you're doing that. Don't do that sin. Well, we're not talking about sheep, we're talking about the salvation of human beings. No, about the sacrifice. Well, they're sacrificing. They're sacrificing animals, animals, right? So sin, God said, God said sin brings death. Sin brings death. Yeah. But sin, but you're you mean that. the wages of sin is death? The wages of sin is death. Is that what you're trying to say? I, I did explain to um, yeah, yeah, this gentleman, worry. I'm not a scholar, so forgive me if I'm not. No, no, that's fine, that's okay. fine. But I know what you're trying to But the thing is, you know, so if you death, look. Death can only be cancelled out by the life of, of somebody who has the power to defeat. But it hasn't cancelled death. Yeah. When Jesus died, nothing's changed. But this is why I said to you earlier, the change happens in the afterlife. So that's the thing. So the death, so the death is a spiritual Who is in the Bible? The, the two sons of who? Part of I forgot. Cain and Abel. No, the Which two sons of the particle. One goes, particle, what's his name? One goes to the sin, comes back, embraces him. The two sons of, there's a parable in the Bible. Ah, uh, the prodigal son. The prodigal son. No. So man, well, See, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you simplicity how life. Islamic uh, concept is. Adam was just an example. That's why we believe Adam was going to exit an example for who? No, but the human thing, beings to come after him. The thing with Adam is Adam, when Adam sinned, yes, or Adam basically, the Quran says that he was made to forget by the Satan. Yes, no, no, before so, even Adam was created, yeah. uh, God said, I want to create a human being on yes. earth. A wise gerund. You understand? I want to place a wise gerund on earth. And he knew there's going to be an enmity between yeah. human beings and uh, uh, Satan. Uh, Satan, yeah? But he wanted to give human beings an example. But Adam was in this place. When he listened to Satan, he dropped. And now this enmity is going to be between you guys stay. I, I agree. So that's the example. There's no more than that. I think there's more than that. No, it's no more than that. Okay. So what is the because point? For example, you don't know that. No, that's I your opinion. That. No, that's why I know. How, well, you haven't died yet. So okay, how can you tell okay. me that it's, there's, Okay, there's let me tell you an example now. When God created Adam, he told him not to eat from a certain tree. According to your Bible, the tree of good and bad. Right? The knowledge of good and evil. Good and evil. Knowledge of good and evil. Knowledge of good and evil. Eating from that tree is good or bad? God said it was not. No, no, knowing the good and bad. Knowledge of good and bad. Is that bad or good? According to God, it was bad then. No, no, it can't be bad. Yeah, is it yeah. good or bad? If you know what's good and bad, is that good characteristic or bad characteristic? Is knowledge good or bad? That's what he's asking. Oh, yeah. Not, um, to have knowledge yeah. is dangerous. How is it dangerous to know what's good and bad? Have you ever heard the um, saying, too much knowledge pops up? Yeah, but this is not about too much knowledge. This is about he's the knowledge of the basics. No, no, but his knowledge is, knowledge is good no, no. or bad. His knowledge is with regards to to identify things which are good and which are evil. Yeah. So unless you know what is good and what is evil, you know which which one to adhere to and which one to stay away from. Adam already had that knowledge. Everything was good except for that one tree. No, but that tree. At that time. The, the Bible that states. Time, yeah. The Bible states that she was the tree of the knowledge of, of good and evil. So he didn't have the whole knowledge of good and evil. He knew what was good. Basically, everything. Basically, he's telling you at that time the only instruction to him was to stay away from that tree. And that so as far as, as far as he's concerned, bad. This, this eating from this but tree, is that tree bad. bad. Yeah, no, no. no, the tree wasn't bad. Allah, eating from the tree Allah was said bad. to him that not to eat from that because for him that was haram. Yes. That's to yeah, even from that point of view. No, but no, no, the Bible states the trees. There's no tree, by the way, we believe that has good and bad, or a tree no. of eternal life. We, um, no, no, it means eating from that tree will give you that knowledge. But even there's that no is, such thing. Yeah, that is not in Islam. There is no such yeah. thing. In their in that books, there is. Or is an allegory. But the fundamental thing is, they the have to stay away. From, Adam had to stay away from it. What he just said, which yeah. when God commands, to don't do yeah. that. If you do what He commands not to do, you'll end up in problems. Yeah. So that's the main. But brother, the main point is this: so Look, no, no if really if Adam if Adam sin, the question still remains: Why in in Christianity is this inherited by his progeny? Because in Islam, it's genetic. In Islam, we the the sin is not. We are not burdened with the sin of somebody else. I understand. Okay. Now this is where I find the injustice, and I think I, that's what you're, I think you're maybe, alluding to, yeah, isn't it? I, I understand um, yeah. what you're saying. I don't think when Christians are saying we're burdened by Adam's sin that we literally. But isn't that what the original sin doctrine is? This is my understanding of original, and I might be wrong as well. Okay. But this is my understanding, and it's not that. It is that. So what's your understanding? Let's start with that. Okay. My understanding is that since Adam, yeah, the, the genetic. What do you? It's For me, sin genetic. is not in the DNA. Yeah, genetic has nothing to do okay. with chromosomes. Okay. So, 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 so this is this is maybe where uh, we're unable to see eye to eye. 
because my understanding is that genetic coding carries information from generations before, 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 yeah. and the information it carries is not just characteristics, it's, it's character. What? It had, it's, 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 no. You, you got any empirical evidence for that? No. Because what you're doing is you're just speculating now. If you go to a scientist and tell them I did say, it carries your consciousness brother, as well, then... Brother, I did say, this is my opinion, I did say this is my opinion. Yeah, no, but, but you don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. You don't believe that your genetics carry character? I, all of our genetics are, have sin, because sin equals death. When you see someone dying of cancer, yeah, but that's got nothing the to cancer do with is a manifestation of the sin of our forefathers. Who told you that? No, that fact, that's not even from the Bible. Fact, Okay, <laughs> I asked this gentleman. No, but no, you're just not, making up things no, now. No, no, I'm not making So it's it. not from the Bible. Where is it from then? Where is it from? Okay, in the this Bible, what you just said brother, is from where? Okay, brother. In the Bible, did they ever mention cancer? I don't know what this is. Can we just move here? Just, just here, that's fine. Did, did they mention cancer in the Bible? No, they didn't. Um, as far as we know... As far as I know, in the, in the Bible, it doesn't mention that the disease of the parents is carried on to the children because of the sin. Sin equals death. So what, so disease... Wait, wait, what do you mean sin equals death? Can you explain that please? Are you telling me if somebody doesn't sin, they will not die? Yeah. Really? Yes. Okay, why show me, why show why me the sin die? of John. John the Baptist. What did he sin? What was his sin? I'm not God, so I can't tell you. So how can you say that he sinned if no mention of sin is there? God. And God says, okay, wait, no. God says about him in the Bible that he's the most righteous amongst the people who are born of a woman. Yes? God himself testifies to his righteousness. Now, if you cannot show his sin, and God says that he's righteous, and the fact that he still died, yes? In fact, he was killed. Then it shows us that never did God intend for the human beings to be immortal. Because the Bible itself says that there's only one who is immortal, and that is God Almighty. You see what I mean? Are you waiting so, for the resurrection? Waiting for who's... We're all going to be resurrected one day, yes? And resurrection equals immortality. No, no, you're talking about two different things now. No, I'm asking wait, you... Wait, wait, wait. When we Let's, are resurrected... Wait a minute. Will we live forever? Yes. yes. After you're resurrected... So wait there, so wait there. So you can't accept Im we, that we were made to be immortal, but you are accepting that... No, but you, you have missed one crucial point. What does immortal mean? It means... Well, tell me, tell me your definition. I, I think it means to live forever. Yes. So there is something called eternal, which you live forever. There's no beginning, no end. That's called eternity. Yes, you're eternal. And that can only be God Almighty. Then there is something called immortality. And there are two types of immortalities. One is existential immortality, and the other is somatic immortality. So God is existential immortal, plus the human beings who God will want to live for eternity after the resur resurrection also have existential immortality. So wait, wait, listen to this important point. There is one immortality which is, it, uh, which is unique only to God Almighty, and that is the somatic immortality. That means when you and I and even Jesus Christ and all the other prophets experience death, yes, but there is one who will never experience that, and that is the Creator. God Almighty, who will never experience that. So that immortality, like it says in 1 Timothy 16, he alone is immortal, who lives in an approachable light, whom no man hath seen or can see. Yes? Remember the point, the crucial point here is he alone is immortal. That means no one else can be immortal except him. So we are not all immortal. There is only one who is immortal, and that is God Almighty. So when Jesus died for you, as you believe, and as we Muslims believe that even though he did not die on the cross, he will die one day in his second coming. That shows that even Jesus is not immortal. But he raised from the dead? We will all be raised from the dead. No, no, no. That doesn't make us immortal. Okay, okay so listen, listen. That's Just because somebody... Not, he never waited till resurrection. My friend, it's nothing, to, it's nothing to do with that. It is. Okay, so you're telling, me, you're telling me Lazarus is also immortal then? Jesus raised Lazarus. Lazarus didn't raise himself. And who raised Jesus? The spirit that was in him. Which is God? not G which is God? but that God? Can you stop repeating? That's a bit annoying. I did it twice. No, but three times. Don't get what upset. I, no, I'm I'm telling you to listen to yourself. Did Jesus raise himself or somebody else? God raised him, the spirit so, of God raised him. So was it Jesus? Ah, ah you see, see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. just like Lazarus was raised by somebody else, other than Lazarus, Jesus will also be raised, just like you and I will also be raised one day. Now now wait, we are not talking about raising from the dead the fact that if somebody rises from the dead 
proves that person is not immortal. Because immortality, a person who is immortal, neither death nor resurrection applies to him. I disagree. Because... Show me anyone who is immortal, no, no, no. to Let him, explain. whom neither death or resurrection doesn't apply. Let me explain why I disagree. Yeah, go on. Because if he wasn't, if he was mortal, who? He, Jesus. Yeah. If he was like us, he couldn't have resurrected. But could he have died? If he was immortal, could he have died? Of course. No. So immortal dies according to you. He had power over death and life. Bro, that's why I asked you to define immortal. What is your definition of immortal? In the context of 1 Timothy 6.16, where he says he alone is immortal, can you please define immortal in that context? Okay, so is the Alpha and the Omega more No, no, answer immortal? this question before we go Alpha and Omega. Answer this question. What is the definition of he alone is immortal? The term immortal, define that in the context of 1 Timothy 6.16. Bring out um, 1 Timothy 16. Show you me. bring it up. I've just quoted the verse for you from memory. He alone is immortal, who lives in an approachable light, whom no man has seen or can see. Bring it up and you define the term immortal. Because to me, immortal means someone who doesn't experience death. Someone who's not if subject I, to death. If we go back to the point when the brother said that mm. sin equals death. Yeah, Are that's why I want to get to that. physical death or spiritual? Spiritual so it was the original. To, right yeah. there. Spiritual was the original. Physical is the consequence <laughs> of spiritual death. No, because in the verse, when we die spiritually, the physical has to go with no, the spirit. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Because on the verse, so a body can be a, without a spirit. No, hold on, hold on. The verse quotes the day you eat from it is the day you die. Yes. No, it's not the day. What did you say? shall surely die the day you eat of the fruit. It doesn't say that day you will die. It says you will surely die. The timeline is. Okay. It's open. Okay. Anyway, let's define immortal Timothy. because to me, a human. When he was created, was never to be immortal. First Timothy. Yes. Yeah, First Timothy. Six sixteen. What's your name, brother? Alex. Alex, I'm Hashim. Nice to meet you. You are Ibrahim, mashallah. Nice meeting you guys. Who only hath who only hath immortality dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man has seen. I think I have enough. No one. To whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. Is that the KJV? Uh, King James. Yeah. yeah. It says the same thing. Basically. Who alone had immortality. So Explain the term immortal in that okay, context. Let me read just before that so you that can we read. can get the context. No problem. That you keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which in his times he shall show who is the blessed and only potentiate, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who, ha who only hath immortality dwelling in the light which no man can approach to. So he, he only has immortality because he dwells in God, because him and God are one. Are you, are you saying that it's talking about Jesus? It, I just read before it says... Are you sure it's talking about Jesus? Let me read it and you tell me. And well, you I've read it and I'm telling you, is that talking about Jesus? That you keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable, until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, semicolon, which in his times, Jesus' times, mm -hmm. he shall show, he shall show, Jesus shall show. Don't who, you shout, calm down. I, sorry, I can listen. Sorry. I can you know listen. what it is, the noise around. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I get <laughs> infected by the rest of them. Okay. He shall show who is the blessed and only potentiate, the King of kings and Lord of lords. So Jesus Christ. Okay, now there's a full stop there. Yeah. So stop no, it's not there. Full, no, it's not a full stop. It's a semicolon. Yeah, but even then it's got, it's, it's got. a semicolon? Yeah. It's, it's, that's so still, it's a continuation of no, talking about Jesus. Okay. Now wait, when he says... We're still talking about Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. When he says, who only had immortality. Can you define immortality, the term there? That was my question. I told you. What is it? Everlasting life. No, that's eternal. Immort Someone, immortality. Immortality means what? It means you're not mortal. You're, immo okay. you're the opposite of mortal. So instead of defining it, you're giving me the opposite of it. I don't know what Give you me, want me to say. I want you to define the term immortal. I told you I wasn't a scholar when I began this, innit? Neither am I. Okay, I'll tell you. You what. sound like more of a scholar than I okay, do. Okay, I'll define it. You tell me. If I'm trying to keep it simple. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll define. Here. I'll define the term immortal, and you tell me if I'm right or wrong, based on your understanding of that verse. Immortal to me means someone who is not subject to death. Do you agree with that? Right. 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 Someone who is not subject to that. Right. that. That means death will not touch him at any time. No, that doesn't and mean death can't. It means that death, if he chooses to not die then he won't die what do you mean an chooses? immortal an immortal if so so if someone went to kill an immortal if you were immortal and i stabbed you in your heart what would happen if i was immortal i wouldn't die how do you know that 
because that's what immortal means. How do you know? Wait there, wait there. Are you going to redefine no, the word? No, I'm. Uh, Let's look at the dictionary. Bro. I know, but you're making up your own definition. No, I'm asking you a question. Okay. If I stabbed you through your heart, you're immortal. Your heart stops. You drop to the floor. Your heart puts itself back together again. You come back to, back to life. Are you immortal? Yes. If someone, listen, listen. If someone, if I. If you stabbed, if I told you I was immortal, okay. and who, you were like, who, who brought your heart back to life? Who brought I your think heart we are we are making this more complicated. Let me finish. This point. Yes. Let me, let me finish. Yes. If I told you I was immortal, and you went, yeah, you're immortal. You pulled out a knife and you went, yes. and I fell to the floor dead. I looked dead, and then I got back up. If you're dead, then you're not immortal. Simple. No, wait there. <laughs> if you're dead, I haven't finished. I haven't finished talking to. Let me finish. My okay, go on. I've got back up. You can see the blood, the hole. I'm not dead. Would you believe my claim that I was immortal? Okay, no, I won't believe that. You wouldn't? No. So what would I be because, then? Because you didn't die from the start. If you didn't die, you're talking what about... Would I, be I think he's talking about death yeah, and then resurrecting, death? two what different things. No, I'm just asking you, like, how would you define... So what would I be if I wasn't immortal to be able to, to be stabbed, you look died, like, you look died. like, look like I was dead, so and then come back to yeah, life? Then you're immortal. Looks you like you were dead. You can't be looked like you're dead. <laughs> yeah. dead or not dead? Well, if you don't someone, die, then you're immortal. Simple when, as when that. When someone gets injured yeah. and they start moving, you would call that dead? No. No. Stop breathing. Injured is not dead. Breathing. Stop breathing, yeah. If someone's injured and they start Even breathing, if he stops breathing, the heart stops. Listen, listen. Everything Even, no, no, no. If somebody stops breathing, yes, they can be resurrected. To resuscitation. To I resuscitation, I depending how long they stop breathing. So there is a time limit. I do understand yeah. that. So, so it doesn't mean he's dead. Okay, Jesus wasn't resuscitated and it was three days later. Exactly. So it's not a minute later So, or four so the question is... Brain dead, brain dead. Bro, 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 the question is, did he die for three days that. and three nights? I don't know what that's you call that. Say, you're saying he died and resurrected. Exactly, yeah. So it's not, no, that's what you guys are claiming. It's Janet, so he died for us okay. the and then he resurrected. Yeah. Brother, here's the, here's the definition but from the... I don't know what you would call that then. Immortal, that means someone cannot, death cannot control him. And also, all. what would you call what he did then? What he did was so it happened, if resurrection. If That's dead. called resurrection for a reason. Death. What does resurrection mean, bro? What does resurrection mean? One second, brother. That's important to know. Mean? Death means that your soul and your physical body are separated. Exactly. And where we come from, once someone dies, they don't come back to life. Unless they're resurrected by God. Unless they're resurrected on Judgment Day. So, so not even Judgment Day, even so before that. So for Jesus that. to come back three days after he's dead. Yeah, it's called resurrection. Okay, yes. Then. Not immortality. Not immortality. Okay, I, thank you for that. Okay, right. so the important point here is resurrection. What does resurrection mean? To bring back to life. From? The dead. dead. Thank you very much. That is the key point. The question I want you to ask yourself is this. God Almighty, who will never die, Thus, to whom death doesn't apply, will resurrection ever apply to him? Um, not in his mortal form, no. In any form, in will any death form. with resurrection apply to him? In any form. Um, God the Father doesn't need to be resurrected. Exactly, See, exactly my point. Was, the, point. the reason Jesus had to be resurrected is because he died according to your belief. Well, he's God the Son, not God the Father, so... No, no, regardless who he is. The, the point is, the reason he was resurrected proves that he is not immortal. Because only mortals are resurrected, not the immortal. Because immortal never dies, hence there is no reason to resurrect them. The only people who need to be resurrected are guys like you, me, and Jesus Christ and the other prophets. Because only the mortals die and hence only they need to be resurrected. I think I, I understand, you got the point? Okay. I where you're so now from. going back to 1 Timothy 6.16, if you read it, it says who alone has immortality whom no man had seen or can see. Had people seen Jesus? You're missing the point, you know. I'm not missing any point. I think you are. I'm, I'm bringing you to the point you know, uh, to show that it's not about Jesus, know, that is know, about the Father. Do you know much about Revelation? Have you read Revelation? Which The book of Revelation? Yeah. You're talking about the Alpha and Omega now? No, no. When Jesus comes again, how he appears. Well, why are we going to that point? Is that, is that a point you want to... You, yeah, yeah. I read about it, yes. What is the point? Does, is it related to this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what is it you want to I'm asking mention? Whether, whether you know about the description of him and whether you know what was written on his thigh according to the Bible. But what is the point of bringing that in? So How has, is it related? So he doesn't to... look like him. He doesn't look like Jesus and okay. he has a different name. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm saying is the shell that we call Jesus that claimed to be God, the word of God manifested. He never claimed to be almighty God. He did, you know. Show me where. He said, Show me I where am. He's done now. So he said, I am. Okay, so, so Paul said, I am. What no, is the proof? No, Paul, yes. No, Have you not read the Bible? 
I'll show you. The yeah, I'll show you the words you where he said me, I am. There is I a, just told you where does it say? You asked me where does it say? I told you where it says. Now you're telling me, have you not read the Bible? But yeah, but read the Bible. The term for I am is what in the Bible? Let's when God revealed ready. Himself to Moses, yeah. He said, Moses said, "Who shall I say sent me?" Yeah. What did Moses say? Eshe. He said, "I am that I am sent you." Eshe, Ahir. Okay. Mm. Asher. So when some, so when you hear someone say, "I am," I. So so when someone asked him, "Are you the Son of God?" and he said, "I am," sent me or I am what I am. What was the question he was asked? Do you remember no, that? Let me get the exact oh, thing. Christ. Get the verse. No, get the exact See, now we are going to another tangent. By the way, it's the Jews that... <laughs> we were talking about the, uh, the, the reason for atonement of sin through sacrifices. Now you are going to another topic about no, Jesus you being God. You, we have gone on to many topics. I have No, no, to the reason I went to immortal Don't is to show like that Adam, when he was created, he was never meant to be immortal That's in the first place. That is the reason I brought the topic of immortal, so it's still related to the topic. Now you're going to another tangent about Jesus being God. When Jesus himself claimed, I can of myself do nothing. As I hear, I obey. So the connection to this is you're, you're saying God doesn't need to, God is immortal. Yes. And, and Jesus I, is not. Right, right. So that's why we're going to this. Because you asked me to show me where God said it was. No, but we already proved that Jesus resurrected according to your belief. The well, fact that he was resurrected is because he was not immortal. He the death, yeah. You see what I mean? Only an immortal is not resurrected but every other mortal is resurrected that's, that's according to your understanding well you tell me who's resurrected can does an immortal according need to, to be resurrected i'm not going to disagree with you i just said that's, that's your understanding no no your understanding does an immortal need to be resurrected ever an immortal well if i look at the greek mythology roman mythology forget mythology we don't believe in mythology okay so when you we believe that, in the scriptures so, so the immortal that you're describing comes from mythology no no died. no i gave you the bible, bible verse bible. unless you're telling me the bible is mythology i told you the bible verse talked about jesus who is immortal and you said it wasn't it wasn't about but him. jesus cannot be immortal because he was resurrected that's your understanding was he not resurrected that's your, did he die yes so according to you back to life. Resurrected. Who else has been resurrected since Jesus, before or after so Jesus? So he died. The, who the has died. been resurrected? Now you are going into that mode again. You, Calm down. Ask, let's wait have a, there, wait there, hold let's on. have a discussion. You've been in mode. You've Sorry? Been, you've been raising your voice all this time. I haven't asked you to quiet no. down. I'm voice. not raising my voice. Let me try and make me out to be like I'm raising my voice. No, no, it's not I'm about raising the voice. It's, it's the tone this now. It's not a fair. Um, no, it's the tone. It's a tone. The issue about it's a tone. You're saying what did Jesus? I am making me look like I'm being unreasonable when I'm trying to be reasonable. No, no. I told you Jesus, according to you, died and was resurrected. This proves that he was not immortal. Yes, be fair. Based on the definition, you know, I'll give you the Strong's Concordance. The Strong's Concordance defines what immortal means. And it means freedom from death and not perishable. Go on. I need to find, okay. What is, what is it you're trying to prove here? About the I am? That Jesus is God, he's, when he said he was God. And you see, Jesus is so... Um, Profound. What he said was so profound. It went a lot of what he said went over our heads because we think in carnal and mortal terms. Okay, so this one is John chapter eight, fifty-six to fifty-nine. So Jesus, in response to the Pharisees' question, "Who do you think you are?" said, "Your father Abraham rejoiced at the thought of seeing my day." Start a bit before. Yeah, start start at fifty-four. Okay, wait, I'm going to have to go. Who accused who of what? Exactly, because we need to understand the question that was asked by the Pharisees to him. Because no. unless you get the context, the question by the Pharisees was never, are you God? Yeah. They never asked no, him that. No, but I think the Pharisees were, they're, they're putting a claim against him, which is denied. No, they're yeah. asking, are, are you the Christ? No, they're asking, are, are you, you the prophet? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am. So yeah, but the question be... wasn't, are you no. God? It, it's, it's significant in context because that was how God revealed himself to Moses. Well, in so, the, I'm the so he's not saying he's not. And he's not saying yeah, he, the, the, yeah, he's Let him bring the words, bro. Let him bring the words yeah, because um, we'll just prolong this unnecessarily. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the verse See the question of the Pharisees. What verse it was? So the Jews have just just accused him of having a devil in him. That's what's happened. Now bring bring it from eight fifty four. John eight fifty four. So Jesus answered, if I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honoreth me. Exactly. Of whom you say that he is your God. Mm -hmm. yes. Yet you have not known him, but I know him. Yeah. And if I should say I know him not, I will be a liar like you. Yeah. But I know him. And keep this saying, your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. 
and he saw it and was glad. And he said, to, and, and said the Jews unto him, you're not yet 50 years old. Have you seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. Yes. So now the point you need to understand is this. Did they ever ask him, are you God? No, they did not. They only asked him that you're not even 50 years old. You're the point, bro. You see, you're not letting me finish. Now. I let you finish. Point, I let you finish. Let me finish. And you need to listen instead of just being basically out of zone round. I'm not out of zone. So are you understanding the question they asked him? I'm Did they ask him, are you God? I don't think you understand. I'm asking you again, try to listen this time. Did they time. ask him, are you God? You're trying to insult me. You're, what you're saying is insulting. Yes, this is the third time I'm asking. Did they ask him, me. how am I insulting you? I'm asking you, insulting did they me. ask him? You're insinuating what? that I'm not listening, that I'm zoning out, and that I don't understand the book that I'm reading to you. Yes, you don't. Okay, I believe this and you don't believe this. Okay. I've read this. If you believe I've it, I've studied this. That's fine. Probably more than you okay. studied it. So if you have studied don't it. Don't tell me that oh, I don't God. understand. If I you have finished my sentence, so you need to be quiet and let me finish my Okay, sentence. finish your sentence, go on. Now I've finished it, you may speak. Good. If you understand the question that the Pharisees asked, please let us know what that is. What is the question they, they asked him? So they asked him, did you know Abraham? Carry on. And he said, before Abraham was. Okay. I am. Good. Now the question to you is this. You don't understand what he's You see you're saying. doing it again. Let me finish asking the question. Okay. Did they ask him, are you God? You want to find that bit? No, no, here, here, in this context. That bit for me is the most profound statement. But because you don't understand what is being said, you don't see the Why truth. Why don't you answer the question I'm asking you? What are you asking me? This is the third time I'm asking. No, Did the they fourth, ask him? The okay, time. the fourth time, which is even worse in your case. It's not worse in my it case. It is because if I ask you the fourth time answer. and you still don't answer it, then there's something wrong here. With you or me? The person is. You're either the... asking the wrong question okay, or can you I please... don't have the answer. Okay, right, guys, if you don't have the answer, just come, say so. Come, come, come. I'm calm, you know. No, no, no. no if you don't have the answer, no. just say so. If they did not ask him, are you God? Then why are you insinuating that by saying I am, he's implying that he's God? I've just given you one example. That to me, for me, is the most profound example. You see why I said you're zoning out? Because, like I said, this is the fourth time I'm asking you, or the fifth, yeah? And you're still not answering the question. Did they ask him? Let me ask him. They did did ask they him ask him, are you God? Yeah. Did because they ask him that? Because no, they didn't. Said, they did not like ask him, said, God. Before Abraham, uh, before Abraham, Abraham was, was, I was. Uh, before I am. Abraham was, I am. No, I am, right? That, by the way, yeah. Jesus was making a different statement. No, the question yeah, no, no, was, no. are you God? Because oh, you said Abraham would have What did you understand? What you understood from My it? My understanding is, 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 is the word of God. No, no, no. Is is say it just say it I'm answering. no because of that statement yeah, yeah, because of what that, do you what did you understand from it from what i understood was jesus was alive before jesus was born so what does it mean? That mean he is the alpha and the omega yeah. okay can i show you somebody else who's the alpha and omega no wait 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 yeah. are you saying jesus is god because he's the alpha and omega as well let me ask you do you know the word of god okay. do you know about melchizedek yeah. did he exist before with it God? Says, it says that they couldn't find his genealogy. No, there's no mention of his genealogy in the Bible. That have. word, what he just said, is not in the Bible. That is your no, own interpretation. Days, That's what you understand. Did, did, I don't understand your point. Okay, the point is this. If Jesus is Alpha and Omega, then so is Melchizedek. Because he had no beginning, no end of days. Yes? He had no, no genius, mother, no, no father. Genealogy. Yes? Jesus at least had a mother. Okay, how much do you know about Melchizedek? I know based on what's in Hebrews 7.3. So you're using the Bible. I've been using the Bible all this time. Okay, you're using the example of Melchizedek. Yeah, from the Bible. Is, the, is Melchizedek in the Quran? He's not in the Quran. No. So your understanding of Melchizedek comes from the Bible. Yes, just like everything else I told you from the Bible. Okay. I'm saying Melchizedek. If you believe Jesus is God, then you should also worship Melchizedek based on the same Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega yeah. Abraham did worship Melchizedek and we are all... Uh, oh, so you're telling... Are you saying Melchizedek was God as well? I'm not saying that. So why did Abraham worship him? You ask me. Did I'm Abraham asking you. Jesus? You're the one who brought this point so up. Know, I'm asking okay. the same, it's so, same question. Because Abraham. it's in your Bible, so I'm assuming you should know. Abraham didn't worship Jesus. How do I know these things? I don't know Melchizedek. Fair enough. You can say... He was, God okay. So my, my, my point was, there's only two examples in the Bible about Melchizedek. The one where he met Abraham and Abraham gave him 10% of his tithes and yeah. worshipped him yeah. and he was blessed in the name of the Most High God. Yeah. And then there's a second part in Hebrews where it says Jesus is a priest and a king in the order of Melchizedek. Yes, but not Melchizedek. Only those, 
Yeah, in the order Jesus is not Melchizedek. No, Do you agree? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So there is other than Jesus who has no beginning of days, no end of time, no, and who has no genealogy. Yeah. No mother, no father. And no mother, no father. Let's, let's read so that. Yeah, read God, it. Go on. He's, he's more God than Jesus. Though. Yes. He's, he's better than Jesus. You're right. Yeah. God than Jesus. He's, he's better than Jesus. So how many gods do you think there are? After all this? What, 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 do you know what the word theophany means? No, tell me. Theophany means the um, appearance of Jesus before he was born. Do you know the story of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego? No. Um, in Babylon. Um, do you know Daniel? The book of Daniel. Uh, now, we, now we're going yeah, off. Yeah. Daniel. Like we're going away from. He's trying question. to make a point somewhere. Yeah. You bring up that verse. You read it yourself. About, we're talking about theophanies. Was so, this a theophany with regards to Melchizedek? Um, potentially. But, but you just said he wasn't Jesus. Let me just answer this um, man's okay. question. No, because I asked him how be many theophany. gods after all this, what you just said. Yeah. How many gods there are they? You know, the most important point yeah. which he re re realized is that As Jesus himself worshipped his father. Jesus was around before he was born. No, did Jesus worship God? Of course he did. Can God worship God? The word of God no. gives praise to God. No, not gives praise, worship. worship. The word of God. Worships God. Worship, prostrate. Well, he was a, well, in human form, of course. Okay, in human form, did Jesus have a religion? Are your words physical? Are oh, my Jesus. words physical? Then are your words physical? No, they're not physical. Okay. Are yours physical? If, if your words were physical, yeah. would they be a part of you or a part of your creation? My words are a creation. So they're not a part of you? Well, they, they, represent, they represent me. They represent yes, you. Yes, because I'm, I'm accountable for my words. Did they come from you? Yes, they did. Okay. And I'm is accountable source, for my words. Is a source, so, is a source of okay. words. So this is what yeah. this is what the claim is for Jesus. But the words can what never... We are all over the Jesus, place. I don't know where we're going. Jesus right. is a, I don't know where you want, want no, to go. Brother, I want to, I want to show you that... I was talking you. about the theophany. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was showing you that Melchizedek is not a theophany. A theophany represents something which himself is in the past, which comes then in the future. So if, G if Melch you were going to read the verse, if you read the verse, you realize that he was not Jesus or his theophany. He's talking about Melchizedek. Yeah, what about him? He's not Jesus in the past. He's someone separate from Jesus. Because Jesus had a mother. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah. Did Melchizedek have a mother? No, I don't know. Well, he no. says no mother, no, no father. Mother, no father. No genealogy. No genealogy. Yeah, and no, no mother, mother, no, no father, father as well. Specifically, yeah. Just debating about the divinity of Christ. You want to help him out? Okay, no problem. I don't need help. Don't find anything for a minute. I need help. No right? problem. Oh, give him a Are time. you an imam? Are you an imam? No, I'm not. Uh, Why do you think I am? The way you speak. The way I speak? <laughs> I didn't know imams speak like me. Inshallah. Sorry? Tell him inshallah. We are the Muslim team. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Alex, right? Okay. Is it your first time here? You've been here before? Yeah, mashallah. Welcome to Speaker's Corner. So I didn't mean to interrupt your, your discussion earlier. But basically, I want to go back to this atonement through human sacrifice. Because this is something God Almighty abhorred. And yeah. he basically told the people, he rebuked the people who were doing it in the Old Testament. So they, used to, they used to sacrifice their children to Baal. Yes? Yeah. Baal was the false god yeah. of the pagans. Yeah. And God told them not to sacrifice the children to them. It's basically, in fact, he goes on to say that this did not even occur to God to put such a command to people to sacrifice humans. So how can the only way that Christians can be saved is through this human sacrifice yeah. of Jesus? To me, sense. that is... Contrary to what God preached in the Old Testament. It's Hebrews 7 3. It's Christianity based upon the few. Uh, it's not? It is. I'm looking for Genesis. Which are wrong. Why are looking for Genesis? It's in Hebrews. About no mother, no father, that's in Hebrews 7 3. The genealogy. Yeah. No genealogy, no mother, no father, no beginning of days, no end of time. In fact, that, that uh, individual, Melchizedek, is much more. Higher. Yeah, much more, what do you say? Candidate mysterious or much more in terms of his uh, abilities powerful than even Jesus because Jesus at least had two genealogies and he had a mother yes but Melchizedek had no genealogies and no mother and no father and he had no, and no beginning, beginning of, of days, days no end of yeah. time to me that sounds like God Almighty yeah. because only God can be described as such so you're acknowledging that God can come on earth as a man no I'm saying your Bible says this man I'm just saying that you said it sounds no. like God Almighty we know. what's that you just said that Melchizedek sounds no. like God Almighty in, in that description, that description to me would fit only to God Almighty. 
someone who has no genealogy, someone who has no mother or father, and someone who has no beginning of days or end of time. This is an eternal being who is supernatural. It means he doesn't rely on no one. No, it's not. If that's the case, Mel Mel Melchizedek is not mentioned. Al Qaeda is not Melchizedek. Yeah, yeah, he says without, without yeah. father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning of days nor end of life. Is out of need. This. Made unto, this is exactly what I said. But made like unto the Son of God. Exactly. Abideth a priest continually. Yeah. Yeah. So when somebody is made yeah. like the Son of God, it's then he's the not son. the Son of God. Not. Just like if you look like your dad, you're not your dad. You see what I mean? So, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. The Son of God. He was so that this is saying that made he like. was made to look like the Son of God, suggesting God, there is a Son of God. No, no. When you look like someone, you're not that person. The Son. Okay, so if you look like your dad, you're not your dad, are you? Right. That's what it means, basically, in simple English. They're too different. Okay, so now let's let's move back to the original discussion this brother was having. I don't think that's a full understanding. Well, you figure it out then. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to the discussion, but it's not fair because he started the discussion with you with regards to the atonement of sin. Are you telling me that you cannot be saved? You cannot be atoned for. Your sins cannot be forgiven unless there is a human unless there is a human sacrifice. Unless there's blood sacrifice. A human sacrifice. Blood sacrifice. Human. So you're telling me. So you're telling me. God can cover my sins and make me with his own blood. Yeah. Well, it was never so so this is the mystery and this is what oh. this no. is what Christ claims. Okay. So he claims to be the sacrifice that the Jews, the tradition that was instituted to the Jews for, for the blood sin. sacrifice. By the blood sacrifice for the Jew is to for cover intentional sins. sin. Yeah, to cover An intentional sins. sin. I understand. Yeah. But, but if you fornicate, you're gonna be yeah, 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 but put to out. death. But Jesus says if you look at a woman, it's adultery, not yeah. actually having okay. sex with them. Yeah. Listen, so this, brother. This is a deeper level of yeah. understanding of sin. Okay, you're saying the only way anyone can be saved from I'm not saying that. Ah. This is what the Bible I says. I know. But the Bible also says other than blood sacrifice can be atoned. There's an atonement without blood. In Leviticus, the old, the same Old Testament which you're, oh, you're alluding to. So here it is. This is Leviticus chapter 5, verse number 11. It says that, but if his means are insufficient for two turtle doves, that means he's so poor, he cannot even afford two turtle doves or two young pigeons, then for his offering, for that which he has sinned, he shall bring the tenth of an ephah of fine flour. You know the flour you made bread from? Bread, yeah, yeah. Is, does bread, does flour have blood? No, it doesn't. So the Bible says you, he can bring fine flour for a sin offering. That's mercy. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait. He shall not put oil on it for peace for a place. Uh, uh, sorry, put oil on it or place incense on it, for it is a sin offering. So your earlier statement and your assertion that only by blood a sin can be atoned for is completely and utterly false because the Bible says otherwise. You can shake your head. Let's I've just showed further. you evidence. Let's go back further before this day. You can bring it up. Let's go back further. Yeah, go further. Cain By the way, Abel. do you disagree with that's worse? Cain and Abel. No, no, no. Do you disagree? Um, that is not what we're talking about. No, no, but I'm asking you. Do you agree? The do man you... said, this gentleman just made the point that they made um, offerings for specific sins, intentional sins. That's what you just said, isn't it? Unintentional sins. Unintentional sins. Unintentional yeah. sins. They had different offerings. This wasn't for unintentional sins. sins. This is offering was not the offering to cover the whole of the tribe of Israel. No, but it was this for was, sin offering. Was individual sin Doesn't matter. Sin it's an individual sin my offering. Po my point is... What? My point is, is that is not the... That is part of the sacrificial system. And Same the original, offering, that's a key point. And the original sacrifice was an animal who Abel sacrificed. So when God instituted the sacrifice, he started with Cain and Abel. This is why Cain's sacrifice was not acceptable. Abel's was acceptable because he knew this, um, this system had to be instituted for a sign of things to come. Alex, can you please answer my question? What's your question? If this is a sin offering, even for an individual. Are you still going on about this? Yes, question? I am. The one that you don't like. Answer. Well, if you don't have an answer, that's fine. I, I can I can expect it. Sorry, I can accept you saying I don't know. That's fine, because that is an honest answer. If you don't know, the important point here is this: three times is mentioned in this particular passage that this is a sin offering. Yes, by flour only, which bears no blood whatsoever. How wait, many, wait, wait, wait. How many other offerings Alex, are there with blood? Alex, wait a minute. The important point here is to drive this point that if Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters hope this video was helpful for you this may help others too so please consider sharing and we will bring more videos in the future inshallah so consider subscribing and you won't miss any jazakallahu khairan